Thanks for watching our new video. We are the Piano Solutions Restoration Shop. As you remember, we used to talk about technology, tools, uh, about some technique and process for restoration. But today our subject is going to be different. Uh, we always uh, have some problems in, in restoration with materials, with environment, uh, we clean everything. And uh, that's a common thing. We can uh, deal with this. But uh, I want to um, emphasize a little bit different thing that's happened on the market. Somebody in the, our business came up with this slogan, or you can say the word Stein was. And of course, at the beginning, it was uh, funny because uh, it was Stanway was, but it is. Uh, it means we know we're working with this. They real this Stanway, but somebody want to make a joke on uh, these pianos, I think so, uh, call it Steinwurst. And uh, uh, it's a little confusion, uh, and I want to just explain how we have to handle this new word. Uh, I want to just explain about Steinway sound. It's no doubt Steinway got this very unique sound especially in a certain areas that you cannot uh, even beat this sound. It's so beautiful. Anyway, any Stanway, or like any other piano, right from the beginning, constantly change. Everything on the Stanway is changed because it's uh, built from wood. Wood is organic. It's, uh, uh, changes in temperature, humidity, or affected. But another thing what's interesting, that every part of the Stanway involved in the producing sound, not just only string, but everything involved in the sound. That's why sound is changed. And for restoration people, of course the goal is, uh, when we restore piano, to bring it back, right? Uh, in order, we have to use the uh, Stanway parts. And what we uh, see, that Stanway 100 years ago used different parts. It means the hammerheads was just lighter. Well, this one is uh, probably three times lighter than uh, a, region, a new Stanway genome parts, right? It means uh, weapons, shanks, uh, all the were different. What it says to us, can we bring the piano back to original condition? The answer is no. Can the Stanway, the company who built this piano 100 years ago, bring it back to original condition? The answer is no. It means we, uh, in the process of restoration, we're not bringing piano to its original condition, that we don't know how it was. We're trying to maintain this piano and get it on the higher level. And I explain you why. Because the wood on the piano, especially soundboard, get on a new, absolutely new level of existence. Uh, if you look at these pieces of wood, you will see that they just become just uh, hollow. They become vibrant. They produce sound even from the flow of air. And to preserve this soundboard, it's an essential thing of a, a restorer. The person who gives the uh, piano next uh, century is going to be four more generation enjoy this beautiful piano. And I'm experienced that in a certain level of performance, you can bring this piano to another level. And it's no reason for us to compare it with the new Stanway or with the Stanway that was built 100 years ago. It's completely new creation. And uh, in this case, to call this piano Stan Wars, it's a little bit not a proper way. It's uh, much easier to say that this is Stanway and Sons, built by this great craftsman, but been uh, done with the new parts, with the new, just like uh, hardware, now, of course, um, I understand the frustration of uh, the people in the industry, especially in the Stanway, when they see the piano that's been really abused, 
or replace soundboard on some uh, cheap wood uh, and without any skills. Of course, it's a, it's a sad story. It, they damage the stanways, but uh, we have to deal with this. And uh, the only way to deal with this is to uh, give the knowledge to these people who are involved in the restoration business. Like Stanway can uh, make some training for these people to explain them uh, what's the Stanway about and how they have to deal with Are uh, the companies like uh, Bennett School of Technology supposed to develop the whole line of the new tool and give it uh, these people a Piano Technician Guild is supposed to be involved in this because our goal is maintain our heritage uh, and just like uh, bring these pianos back to life. Uh, that's what uh, I think uh, right away, just like uh, we don't have to use this word anymore. And it's going to be new Stanway, it's going to be uh, old Stanways, and going to be restored Stanways. And we just like kind of erase this uh, uh, problem between the sound. Uh, regarding the sound of um, any piano and uh, Stanway too, I want to uh, uh, say based on my experience, because I work with uh, many uh, pianos. Uh, and of course, as you know, the one of the best company uh, in the world is Blutner. Uh, they just developed their uh, sound. Carl Bechstein has developed their sound. Bersendorfer, as we know, and of course Stanway. And, and Yamaha, of course, and Kawai, uh, they uh, develop uh, their sound. And I have to admit, it's very complicated to uh, understand uh, what's uh, involved in this when you're dealing with the structure of the piano. But the most important thing is the, actually the final stage in producing sound. It's call it voicing. Like the Stanway without voicing is going to be a really poor piano. It means the voicing department on any factory is belong to their uh, group of people. It's very simple, uh, not maybe simple for anybody, but how it's developed the sound, who developed the sound. Of course, musicians and technicians. They connected to each other. Former musicians become a technician. And they know how the sound's supposed to be. And in the restoration department, like among the team of 20 people, always become a leader. The leader with a great understanding of the sound and a great love of the music and a, a very handy person, he developed this certain sound that he enforced in this department. He supervised technicians already who does the voicing or teach the uh, certain technician to bring this piano to the certain sound, especially on every model, like model S51 on the Stanway. It's a different sound from Stanway D, because the harp dictates you the sound of the particular instrument. Sound is very complicated. Everything involved in the sound, vibrations of the air, acoustic, reflection, absorb of the sound. That's why um, it's a little bit confusing. And uh, even the pianos uh, that represent the best in the world, like Blutner and Stanway, they give you different sounds in a different environment. That's why we have to be modest to the, uh, our great heritage, that sometimes they sound not so great, but they can be done good. And we just like never, ever use this word Steinwurst. Steinway always is, always with us, and show us this beauty and give everybody the chance uh, to get uh, on the high level of the music.
Thanks for watching our video.